So the White House says that um, uh, in a call today, President Biden told Netanyahu that, quote, the strikes on aid workers in the humanitarian situation are unacceptable. He underscored that an immediate ceasefire is essential and said that, quote, U.S. policy with respect to Gaza will be determined by our assessment of Israel's immediate action to address civilian harm, humanitarian suffering and the safety of aid workers. Do you, how do you take that statement? Do you take that to mean that he might be finally ready to budge on conditioning well, aid? See, or? The, as you know, there have been a lot of statements. Yes. I mean, one day I'm angry. You know, the president is angry at Netanyahu. The next day he's very angry. Right. And the next day he's very, very angry. You know, so what? At the same time, uh, there is support uh, for more military aid. We're talking about $10 billion uh, in a supplemental bill that I voted against. The polls are very clear. A majority of the American people, and I think the last poll I saw was like 52%, think the United States should stop military aid to Israel. Uh, and among Democrats and among young people, the numbers are much higher. So from a moral perspective and from a political perspective, I hope very much that what he's saying today really does indicate a change of policy. But we will know. You cannot continue to talk about your worries about humanitarian situation in Gaza and then give Netanyahu another $10 billion or more bombs. You cannot do that. That is hypocritical.